Hey, welcome back to another episode of Pokemon Omicron. Last episode we finished off where we finally caught a full team. And realistically, I'm not going to be able to use all of the Pokemon that I catch. Uh, so, so far I've decided to keep Sashimi and Pikachu with me. You can see I've been training Sashimi really hard actually. <laughs> I've just been switching in him in and then switching him out so that he gets some experience like this. It took me a little bit of time to do it. I mean, I was starting training him at level 11, and he actually had no moves at all. I think he just learned Tackle, but still, his attack uh, stat is actually so low that it doesn't even matter. He still loses to, like, level 10 Pokemon. And now, let's get back to our adventure. We're now on Route 302. Last episode, I stopped over here. Uh, and the progress I've made so far is I've already cleared all these uh, trainers. I've already fought all of them. And basically, we're about to head to the next area. I'm not sure if it's a town. I hope it's a town. Uh, but right before, we're going to make a quick drop right here. It's the Pokemon Daycare. So these old couples are going to take care of some Pokemon for me. I'm going to drop off Pikachu 2 and Q-Tip. I have no use for them right now. But maybe later on, I can use Butterfree and Jumbluff. And maybe, uh, I think they'll be better for me to catch certain Pokemon. They're not really good fighters anyways, once you level them up and when they're all evolved. Um, but Butterfree can use Hypnosis, can use Spores, so can Jump Bluff. So I'm hoping they will be a little bit more useful later on. And speaking of usefulness, Magikarp so far has not been useful at all. Pikachu just carries the whole team by himself for now. Magikarp's just there, on the ground. Look at him, I'm just like dragging him along with me. We're gonna run into some wild Pokemon right here. Looks like it's gonna be a Purloin, but I don't think I'm gonna fight it. Sashimi is barely able to beat a level 9 Purloin, by the way. Barely able to. And excuse me for the Skype messages that I'm also recording into my video. Um, I'll turn it on busy next time so I won't be recording them anymore. But here's going to be the first battle of the day. Gentleman Eric looks like he's going to send out a Pat Rat. We're going to take Sashimi out first, and then we're going to put Pikachu in. A process that every Magikarp Gyarados Pokemon owner have experienced before. It's only going to be level 20, I think I can hang on. Just think about the reward of Itting and Gyarados. Nice. Yeah, so I don't know why, but Pikachu actually gets less XP than Sashimi. I think certain Pokemon in this game actually gets less. I have no idea if uh, this is the same, like it applies to like normal Pokemon games or not. I think I'm gonna have to do some research into this. Because there are some minor differences between um, Pokemon Zeta and Pokemon, like uh, normal Pokemon games. Like the most up to date Gen 6, I think. For example, uh, so the max level for this game is actually 120, just because the game is so much longer than a regular Pokemon game. <laughs> like, I pretty much finished a regular Pokemon game with my Pokemon at like level 60 to like 50. Well, well, well. Wanna guess who already has two gym badges? Yeah, I know it's you, Jake. You know, he actually doesn't annoy me at all. I actually find him pretty funny. With his swag and stuff. Looks like we're gonna have a battle. Oh, we're actually not prepared to fight Jake right now. Um, I don't know how many Pokemon he has. He has two. Okay. And the first one's a Treckle. So I think, okay, I think we have this. We got this. Just like before, we're gonna have Pikachu sub out. And flying type is good against grass, so we should have no problem dealing with Treko. We're gonna do a wing attack here. And yeah, super effective. Also, I'm like significantly higher level than him. Probably because I've spent a little bit of time of grinding and training like this early into the game already. Usually when I play Pokemon game, I always try to level up my Pokemon, like all six of them, evenly. Um, I'm like a really casual player. I just catch like a team where I think they look cool, or like, you know, they just have like a couple different types. 
And then I just leveled them up evenly. I don't really have any support Pokemon. Most of my moves are typically just attack moves. I rarely have anything non-attack. But hey, I think I'll be getting a little bit better because I'll be playing this game. I'll be thinking a little bit more of how stuff works in the Pokemon game. And hopefully that will make me a little bit better as a Pokemon player. And hey, looks like we defeated Jake just simply by being higher level. And thank you, Jake. So I'm just gonna move past here and see what's waiting for me next. So it looks like we've now moved on to the next town, Onega Town. First, I'm just gonna visit the Pokemon Center and heal up. And then I'll probably spend an episode or two just exploring the town, see what they have in here. Hopefully, they have more uh, story related events going on right now. Let's see. Let's go out and take a look, walk around. I think that's a safari right there. There's a cameraman. There's the gym. That's probably the second gym that Jake was talking about. Oh no, hi. Sure, you can interview me. Ah, Devon. No, it wasn't difficult at all. Probably Riolu, because he has rock type moves. Uh, that's a difficult question. So I like the guy, but it was too easy, you know? So I'm just gonna say no. I'm, I guess my character's more of an asshole, you know? I actually do think he's a great Pokemon trainer, I think. And that's a lot of berries here. I'm probably gonna have to do this off camera, just like pick some berries and then replant them. I'll do that off camera. Let's see what's in here in our first house. My grandkids are running around making a mess of the place. I wish their parents would come home soon. <laughs> I wonder if their parents are actually story related. Maybe they'll come back afterwards once I progress enough. Okay, I'm bored. Let's go to the next place. There looks like some uh, Team Rocket grunts there. Not not Team Rocket, but uh, whatever the... I think it's Team Zeus or like Team Asgard. I forgot what they're called. And... Yes, I'm pretty sure you're a Rotom. A Rotom. Because you're in an appliance right now. Rotom... So Rotom is a ghost electric Pokemon. I think it just like possessed different appliances and that like changes its form. But anyways, I was totally unprepared for this battle. <laughs> I'm only throwing Pokeballs at it right now because I don't have a move that can actually hurt it without killing Rotom. So I have Pikachu, level 19, and the only move that can hit it is Wing Attack. Because Strength and Fairy Attack, they're both uh, normal type moves. So I wouldn't have a way of uh, hurting him at all with any weaker moves. This is definitely harder than it should be. Not to mention, Pikachu is weak to Lightning. Sashimi is also weak to Lightning. So this is a good matchup for us. And Rotom is just not getting into the Pokeball. I don't think we're gonna make it. I wanna speed this part of the footage up. And there goes Pikachu. Now we'll put Sashimi in. Maybe he can hang on for a couple more hits. And maybe Rotom will get caught here. Ah, oh, so close. And like I said, he's Ghost Electric, but once Rotom is, uh, once he takes on the fan form, so he, like, possesses, like, a fan, he becomes Electric Flying. So Rotom has some pretty decent stats, um, and because he could be a flying type with his base form, I think he would be a great addition to us. So there we go, that's our first loss. And now I'm gonna try again. This time we're better prepared. This time I brought, uh... Bird and Kakulio with me, so we have four Pokemon. Obviously, they're not gonna be able to do anything either because all they have is just uh, 
normal attack moves also. I think one of them actually has a twister or something, so that might help. But I've also taught Pikachu a poison move. So this time, hopefully, it will do a better job of uh, weakening it, and then maybe I can catch it right after. And uh, like I said, Rodom, he has different forms. So besides like the fan, he had, there's like a lawnmower, there's like an oven, so it becomes electric grass and like electric fire. It's actually a pretty cool idea, since it's really just the same Pokemon, and you can just switch its form anytime you want, So it, which changes its typing. But for model type purpose, I'm only going to use it in its fan form. And I think it's actually one of the more popular forms also. There's a couple other ones, but like Electric Fan is pretty good for Rotom. And there you go, Acid. So it's a really, really weak move on Pikachu, especially because it's actually a special attack and Pikachu is more of a, a physical attack Pokemon. But it's doing the job right now. It's weakening Rotom. And I think I can catch it soon enough. This Rodom is just not giving up though. Confusion and Paralyze. Ah. Almost done. Uh, Rodom is a bit weakened now. But down goes Pikachu. Um, let's see. I think that's a good enough uh, health bar. I think it's weakened enough. So I'm just gonna put Sashimi in. There you go, Sashimi. Don't die. That's your job right now. Just survive. And I'm gonna throw some balls at him now. I'm not even gonna waste some time. Just do great ball. There we go. It's a 1.5 chance compared to a regular Pokeball and there we go Rodon was caught and we have another good Pokemon on our team mm, time to give Rodom a nickname let's see mm, I'm trying to name a number one fan because he's a fan Pokemon <laughs> But there's a word limit, so I can't type the whole thing. And uh, so far, I've also been receiving quite a few requests from uh, friends or other viewers that they want me to name some of the Pokemon that I use after them. I don't think I'll be doing that just because there's only so many Pokemon that I have, and I can only use so many of them, so I don't want to like have some of them named. And then not use them while some other ones are act that I actually use or regularly use. Um, but I do have another idea though. Um, I went with Toshiba just because he's an appliance. Like it's a brand name and <laughs> Rotom is an appliance. Um, but back to the fan thing. So I think what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to have two parts. So the first part, I'm actually going to have some Pokemon caught just for the fans. I'm going to name those after the fans. And then I'm going to have a special box in the Pokemon Center. So inside the computer, just for these Pokemon. I know, that sounds a little bit less interactive. So you can think of it as more like a, a Hall of Fame thing where you can, uh, only like certain people can go into that box. But there's also this other thing, so you guys already know I'm going to be catching um, all of the flying Pokemon, or at least most of it, because some of them I think it might be version exclusive. Um, but I think you guys can help me name some of the Pokemon, so maybe you can have a vote or something, and maybe decide what Pokemon, like what their names should be for future episodes. So these are the stats here for Rotom, and thanks for watching. Let me know what you guys think about those ideas that I just told you about. And I'll see you guys next time.